Hi, I would like to share a small story with you. I was working on a hydro cracker unit and I was working on diaphragm seal systems. Everything was going well when one day when I came back to office, I found out that my manager was scolding at me and he said, what have you done? And I was all dumbfounded. He said that the client wanted flushing flange and you have selected flushing ring. And I was confused because I felt that flushing ring and flushing flange are the same. But really, is there a difference between flushing flange and flushing ring? Let's look into it. But before that, I thought to give a small introduction as to what is a flushing flange or a flushing ring, the basic concept behind it as to why do we use them. So imagine that this is your pipe and this is your diaphragm seal system. In between them, a flushing flange is placed. What does this flushing flange do? It basically acts for three different reasons. One is to clean the diaphragm seal. So let's imagine that between the diaphragm seal, there is a clogging liquid and a flushing ring then cleans it. And it also acts sometimes is also called as an isolation ring so it will help to isolate this piping flange and the diaphragm seal can be taken out and isolated also it is sometimes called as a calibration ring or flush ring now let's look into the concept of what is the difference between the flushing flange and flushing ring let's take this beautiful pictures which we got from badotham that a flushing flange and a flushing ring has a very important difference and that is the bolts do you see here the flushing flange has separate entries for bolts to pass through it while a flushing ring is just sandwiched between the piping and the diaphragm seal flange so in this comparison, do you think that flushing flange is the winner and flushing ring has failed? Don't make this mistake. It depends upon a lot of considerations. Let us try to look as to what these considerations are. So let's look into first cost. If you would notice that flushing flange would require more material to be made as compared to flushing ring. So the cost of flushing flange is higher. So it depends on the cost criteria. The next is stability. If you would notice that the flushing flange has bolts going through it and the unit that I was working was a hydro cracker unit which had very high pressures and temperature. So stability was more important to the client. Also, certain times it is the client design basis. That is what is the preference of the client. They would want certain inventories to be kept. So if the majority of the uh, rings are actually flushing rings, then they would maintain the same or they would maintain all of them to be flushing flange. Sometimes it depends also on the safety of the client of how safe he wants to be. And finally, it is pressure. I've noticed that maybe for high pressure applications, usually clients go for flushing flange. For medium pressures around 6 bar, 10 bar and so on, flushing ring seems to be preferred. If you are interested, I've also written an ebook on engineering standards. I felt that engineering standards must be known to every engineer. And this book has almost 1500 plus downloads within the first two days of its release. I think you might find this ebook useful. So the link is given in the description below. Thank you.